<laughs> Meat bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another Top 5 video here on Borderlands the Pre-Sequel. This is the small series where I pick a certain topic within the game and then bring you guys a relevant Top 5 list of things to do with that topic. So today we're going to be carrying on and we're going to be covering the Top 5 Best Hidden Chests in the game. Now these aren't necessarily the best chests to farm in the game, they're just the best hidden ones, so the hardest ones to find or, you know, the best uh, the best ones where you're not going to notice them or anything like that. So, without further ado, let's get on to the list. So, at number 5 we are in the Outland Spur, right at the other side of the map from the uh, fast travel. This is where you have to turn the switch on to get the flow regulators going for the uh, icy lake. And uh, as you can see, there's a little uh, room if you come down these stairs. Now there is a glass floor that you can see above from um, the top, but you really aren't going to be running around looking down. And underneath it is a uh, small doll chest, a very well hidden doll chest. And uh, I cannot believe it's not a red chest to be honest. But there you go, that is number five, the first of two actually in Outland Spur. At number four, we are going to be going to Tycho's Ribs and uh, we're going to be heading down into a uh, little room um, that you have to go in to uh, go in to go out as if you're heading through Tycho's Ribs. Now, if you come to the middle of this room uh, and run through it, you will run straight past a uh, small moon chest. Uh, very hard to see. Now, there is a doll chest opposite it that you probably might see, but this one is very well hidden indeed. You're not going to see it from anywhere you run over here unless you're specifically looking out for it so I just think this one is a really well hidden chest as you can see no matter where you go unless you're looking really carefully you will not see this moon chest so at number four this is the uh, Tycho's ribs easy to miss chest well at number three we are back in Outland Spur and this one is very similar to uh, to the number five one that we've just covered in Outland Spur so we're heading towards the bridge control room near the entrance to Pitty's Fall as you can see, there's a lovely big red doll chest uh, just here. But if you look through the floor again, there is a chest down here. Now, it's very difficult to find how to get into there. Uh, I will show you now. If you come out of this door, um, you're just supposed to run down there and head for that ice lake. But if you turn around and uh, look, there is the tiniest little entrance here. And uh, if you go in, there you go. There is the doll chest. And once again, like with the uh, number five one we covered in Outland Spur, why isn't this a better chest? Why is it only a rubbish doll chest? To get out, you just activate a switch, and uh, there you go. But that is, once again, the second of Outland Spur that should be a red chest, I think. Well, it's time for a special mention now. This will not make it into the list because every single person probably knows about this, but one of the best hidden chests I've ever seen is uh, this Mario um, hidden chest room behind the normal chest room uh, but of course this is an easter egg for the Mario um, game where everyone knows that you run along the top of the level and you get to uh, a, a certain chest room afterwards you know a little loot room but as far as hidden chest goes if you don't know about this room it's probably the best hidden one in the game but as I said it can't make it to the list because everyone knows about it but there is the special mention for the Mario secret room chests. Back to the list now then, at number two we are in the lunar launching station and uh, if you head towards the underground bit in the middle, uh, you'll see there's a little vent there and you can actually get down there. Now the, how do you get down there? Well you just come along here to the middle and run along and head for these ladders. Jump down the ladders and you'll see a switch. If you hit that switch, these doors here will open, but you only have a really, really short amount of time to do it. So be very quick, as you can see, jump and uh, glide your way along, and eventually, as soon as you get in the room, the doors will shut. But this is a secret room in the very bottom middle part of uh, Tycho's ribs, and there is a nice red uh, old developer's chest for you to open. Very, very well hidden chest this, and I love, you know, the fact that it is in this secret room. And uh, then vents you were looking down, we're just there, you can't get in from that way. But at number two, it's the Lunar Launching Station secret room chest. So here we are, we have made it to number one, the best hidden chest in the game. And this is part of a storyline. So uh, it's in the story where you first enter Jack's office, activate the fast travel so Jack can fast travel through. He will then start walking off towards his office 
and uh, eventually Gladstone will come up and uh, ask him, say that they're pinned down, so Jack will turn around and send you to research and development you're supposed to run off and uh, head over there if you choose to ignore that though and uh, just carry on following jack he will carry on walking towards his office it's a bit of a long drawn out process but eventually you will follow him all the way to a corner and uh, once you get to this corner he will open a secret door this secret door contains a chest in it now this can only be done once in the story so it's not a refarmable chest but it, to me, it is the best hidden chest in the game. One, because you just don't expect him to do it. And two, you're supposed to be running over to research and development right now. You know, if you follow the quest and that. There's no indication that you should follow him at all. Now, this chest doesn't contain anything, you know, amazing or special. It's just a normal red developer's chest. But, to me, that is the best hidden chest in the game. And uh, there you go, guys. So that is the top five best hidden chests in the game. Uh, vanilla anyway, I will look into doing a DLC one, but uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you want to see any more top 5s with a topic in mind, be sure to let me know in the comments and I will look into it. But for now, that is it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another top 5 video.